Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be writing a shell script to check if a number is a palindrome or not. So to get started, we want to open up our sh file, so vim, and I want the name to be palindrome, palindrome.sh, okay. And now we have opened the palindrome.sh file in the vim editor. As you can see, it's an empty file. So in order to edit the file, we have to press I to get into the insert mode. And here I'm just going to put a comment, which is um, what we are going to do. So reverse a number and check if it's a palindrome. Okay, so we are going to reverse a number and check if it's a palindrome. So to begin, first we want the number. So echo enter a number this is telling the user to enter a number a number and then once we tell the user to enter the number and the user dots does so we want to receive the number using the read command and store it in a variable called num so once we receive the number we need to have a reference to the number so a variable n is going to store the number num this is because once we start, we are going to be manipulating this original num, this original variable. So it won't remain the same. So we need a reference which is going to keep the same number so we can compare at the end. So now we need the next variable is REV, which will stand for reverse and it will be equals to zero. Okay, so while our number where our number is greater than zero, where our number is greater than zero, then we want to do this operation. And the operation will be as follows. First, we will have to check the remainder. And to get this remainder, we have to use the expression and we will have to divide the number norm num modulus 10 so we we'll first of all have to divide the number by 10 and once we divide the number by 10 we are going to get the remainder once we have the remainder then our reverse will be equal to expression reverse times reverse times 10 plus our reverse value so reverse times 10 plus our remainder sorry plus our remainder so once we have a remainder then we have to take the value reverse and multiply it by 10 and add our remainder and once we do this, we now have to update our number. So number num will be equal to expression num divided by 10. So this will be our remainder, num divided by 10. So with this set, we are done with our while loop. So done. So what we are doing in this while loop is while the number is greater than zero. So for example, let me say we have um, the number. Let me write up here. Let me say we have the number um, one to 123. So if um, so our norm is 123. So while our norm is greater than zero, then we want this loop to continue running. So first, what it's going to do is this remainder expression here, it will divide the norm by 100. So 123 divided by 100 is going to give you um, 12. Okay, 12 and the remainder will be 3. So the remainder of we're going to give you 12 remainder 3. So the remainder of 123 divided by 12 will give you 3. So as it's giving us 3, the reverse will be equals to reverse times 10 so 0 times 10 which will give you 0 plus 3 
so the reverse number is going to hold the value 3 so let me separate that so in this case the reverse number is going to hold the value 3 and then our number now will be equal to number divided by 10 so number divided by 10 let me just put it here so num divided number will now be number divided by 10 which in this case it is 12 so that will be our number for now now it is going since the number is 12 and the number is still greater than 0 the loop is going to run again so in this case, so here it will check num modulus 10 will give us in this case it will give us 2 12 modulus 10 will give us 2 so for the reverse you say reverse times 10 so our reverse was our reverse was 3 so 3 times 10 will give us 30 and 30 plus 2 30 plus 2 is going to give us 32 so our new number here will be 32 and then the number will be divided by 10 and once the number is divided by 10 our new number is remaining is going to be 1 so now it is going to come again so 1 is greater than 0 so the remainder will be expression num modulus 10 so in this case it will give us 0 remainder 1 in the next line we check reverse equals to reverse times 10 that's 32 times 10 which will give you 320 plus rem plus the remainder which is 1 so it will give you 121 so now you have 121 and then the number will be equals to num divided by 10 so 1 divided by 10 will give 0 so now is num greater than 0 no num is now 0 so we have come to the end of the loop so the loop is going to end and in this case you will see that our reverse here is 321 that's our reverse so let me get rid of this so since we are already done with the loop we can now print out the numbers we can now say echo the original number number is n so you remember we had to keep the number here n so n still has the reference of the real number so the original number is n and also we say echo reverse number reverse number is reverse okay so the reverse number is stored in the reverse variable so the original number is n and the reverse number is reverse so now let's check here if if the reverse number is equal to if the reverse number is equals to the norm the number that's n then we want to echo the number that's n is a palindrome it's a palindrome else we want to echo the number is not a palindrome and then we end the if statement with phi fi so it is going to check if the reverse is equals to the original number then it is a palindrome if not then it is not a palindrome so now let's run the program and see and also one thing make sure you give these spaces as i did here because by default the shell programming language is a uh, space sensitive okay it is space sensitive so if you join this like for example this you put it near the plus sign then it is going to give you an error when the program is trying to compile okay so you should always give spaces between variables and operators as you write your program so let's run the program so first i'll press escape to escape the insert mode then w q to save and exit then now let me run my file so to run the file i'll use the bash command bash then the name of the file is palindrome.sh and i'll press enter so it says enter a number so i'll enter 123 and i'll press enter so it says 
the original number is 123 and the reverse number is 321. So you see the number has been reversed and now it says 123 is not a palindrome. Okay, so now let's enter a number which is going to be a palindrome. So 5, um, sorry, let me run the program again. So bash palindrome.sh and enter the number 525 and I'll press enter. So you see it says the original number is 525, reverse number is 525 and so 525 is a palindrome. So that is how to check if a number is a palindrome or not using shell programming language. So let's go back into the file vim palindrome zim palindrome.sh so here you can see this is the code okay so first we enter the number and read the number then we have to keep a reference to the number then we initialize a variable reverse equal to zero so while the number is greater than zero then we have to perform the operation and then once the number is zero the operation will be terminated so we now echo the original number is we write the number and we we'll also print out the reverse so after doing that we now check if the reverse is equal to the, the number then we want to say the number is a palindrome else the number is not a palindrome all right okay so that's it thank you very much for watching and if you like the video please hit the like button and also subscribe as it will help the channel grow and as usual i will see you in the next video